This is a lot of mice. This is a very mousy. This is the most mousy. Oh my gosh. What's the, looks like that somebody is emptied insane. a fire extinguisher in here. It does look like either a lot of hey, sugar has come like out. anti-mouse stuff. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah, apparently. There's another license plate. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, it's, it, right. it stings the nostrils. Wow. <laughs> I mean, my nose It's hurt. a, it's a pungent odor. It's that top Okay, friends, it's time for another adventure. We've got the blue bus all packed up. We're meeting up with our crew and we're heading back up to the Catskills where we bought another bus and we're gonna spend the weekend trying to get it running so that eventually we can drive it home. This is gonna be fun. Stay tuned. There's a child in this marathon under an American flag. Where are we? start why doesn't it start a couple of reasons i don't really feel like getting into it okay we're just pushing you into camp this is going to be good for my appendicitis yep that's how we do it i am really excited to see this car be honest we really haven't seen much of it yet we've got about 30 photos they're not the best photos they're all from the outside we haven't seen the engine at all so we know it has an engine but getting it running is going to be quite the adventure i don't know i don't know what to expect i don't really know where we're going to get to throughout the course of this trip but this is chapter one and there can always be a chapter two Jersey Shore soon, which is uh, an odd name for a town in the VA, because it's nowhere near New Jersey and it's nowhere near the ocean. So you got a flat on the Porsche tire. Um, I'm gonna put the buzz axe on. Yeah? Yeah. That's gonna be a fun. Uh, we have to take the adapters and everything off. Yeah. Are you gonna put Maybe a bolt we can on? Plug it. Yeah, we could take it somewhere and get it fixed. Let me see where it is. We can, can you? Just, I mean, I can't you can run, run just one. one. Are you sure? No. Check the book. No, Check. you should. You should run them both. We gotta change them out. Man, these tires are available to borrow, but they're going on a car. Yeah. <laughs> this is the flat spot. This is why they call it a flat tire. Is because it's not round. It's square. Oh, this is the. Look at that. We need it's coming. It's coming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You didn't spill the coffee. <laughs> okay, so we gotta we gotta do some wheel riding, some traditional forging to forge this Porsche alloy. So we gotta do some gotta be a wheel right. Or a wheel wrong. Oh yeah. I uh I really like your reverse squat where your front wheels are where your front tires are wider than your rear tires. Well, we're just taking a quick little break here in Nichols, PA. I love that bridge. Good spot to hang out. We had the vehicle uh, delivered. Some things went down at the last minute that it wasn't able to stay at the storage yard where it's been for 20 years. So, uh, pretty last minute, we got it uh, shipped in $800 tow north, about two hours north, and we got it dropped off at a friend's place where we'll be able to work on it. Whoa! <laughs> it's, it's, it's a synchro. It's, oh boy. It's got rust. It's so weird, Look at the dust inside. It's got an engine. There's and an engine in there. That's locked. We should have the keys, though. What is growing in here? <laughs> Whoa, this is often bad. That's all rusty. Ooh, there's a hole. Ooh, look at this hole. Oh, that's look a at, big That's one. a good hole. You can get a whole hand in there. That's a, <laughs> that's a good, a, that's a good hole. Mud flaps. This, these are held in with what looks like screws from a, 
Guys, can we reflect on this? Look at this mouse homes. All of the mice. Oh my God. Yeah. All of the mice. I have your phone right here. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, that one's mine. This one's yours. This is a lot of mice. This is a very mousy. This is the most mousy. Oh my gosh. What's the, looks like that somebody is emptied insane. a fire extinguisher in here. It does look like either a lot of hey, sugar has come like out. anti-mouse stuff. It didn't work. Yeah, apparently. There's another license plate. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh, it's, it, it, right. it stings the nostrils. Wow. <laughs> I mean, my nose It's hurt. a, it's a pungent odor. It's that top pop. The seats are in great shape. Yeah, here, hold this. Let's pop that top. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I didn't bring a mask. I didn't bring a hazmat suit. Yeah. It is so mousy. Oh. Hey, that's not so bad. No, that's a pretty good shape. Some of it blew in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Wow. It's well, coming out. You can taste it. <laughs> you can taste the hantavirus. Wow. Here, let's uh take a deal. This isn't the key to the shot. Oh <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be fun. Maybe come in. Maybe just give it a wiggle wiggle. This isn't the right key to this car. Say that again? This isn't the right key to this car. Um that's gonna be fun. This definitely isn't. It's a non-locking diff. This has a non-locking differential. That's a surprise. It doesn't have a locker. It does not. It's a non-locker. It's a non-locker. No vacuum system. Take a look at. Um, let's take a look underneath to see if it's got a prop shaft. That's the big indicator. If the prop shaft's in place, the all-wheel drive system probably worked. If it's not, there was probably an issue. Let's see what's hiding. It's got a prop shaft. It's intact. It's intact. And it is a non-locker diff. It's good under here. It's real good under here. Dan, it's real good under Check here. This out up front. It's real KC lights. Some kind of cool fog light. CB antenna. 4x4 sticker. <laughs> Cocaine. It's a cocaine hauler. You think the whole, do you think this is all <laughs> cocaine? That's a lot of cocaine. That is a lot of cocaine. They distributed it. They just, yeah. yeah. You're supposed to distribute it outside of the car, not inside of the car. It's not off. It did come with a dust pan. We might need this. We might need that. God, it's just. Get a vacuum? No, but we'll get one. It's complete. It is very complete. It's, complete. <laughs> it's pretty gross. The it has all the AC. It is very complete. The top cushion looks great. Well, I brought a lot of Vanagon keys, and I probably have the right one. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go set up camp. Or drop in order to clarify things, we're gonna need to call this something. So I think we should name it Heidi. That makes sense. It's now hiding. Opening windows so that... Oh, power windows. No. They're power mirrors. Power mirrors? The door card shot. That's interesting. Can't get the thing to go down. Oh, it probably just doesn't work. No, I'm it looks like it was power. parked and something was like hanging. Does it start? No, we're going to go through the whole engine before we even try anything like that. Does, I don't think that battery? key... Try that key. I bet that key won't turn that. No. No, this is not the right keys. Yeah. Got a whole bunch of random Vanagon keys. Let's hope that one of these. Yeah, let's see. Let's let's hope that one of these keys is the right one. Probability could be zero. <laughs> What's that? I mean, it's it's a. They made twenty one, twenty two hundred of these total. Basically, they sold one per state per year. And we've got two of them right here. That's yeah. two per state right now. And at I, least. I yeah, I've owned four. So, yeah, we just got to find the right key. The problem is we got to find the right key. I need yeah. a wheel right. Let's go make camp. 
Welcome home. Look at that. <laughs> no way. It was just laying there. <laughs> we found Vanagon parts here last time, didn't we? Yeah, we found the screws that hold in the marker. Hey, you should keep that. Always Vanagon. Oh. Greg probably has some in this report, maybe. Oh, that's not gonna work. She said she thinks it's low key. Well, yeah, that is a VW truck. Yeah. There we go. The cool thing. Yeah, the cool spot. Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get that shot. What's your talk about? Yeah. I love vacuuming. What are you gonna do? I am gonna clean this. I'm gonna clean it real good. <coughs> well, of course, we put this on the. <laughs> yeah. Old. Topographic map. This is what they used to use before the interwebs. Yeah. To get people to places. Yeah. I did some hacky things. I used one of my keys and I went in and out with some side pressure. Oh! Yes! Yeah! I'm working on it. One of the first things to do on every van again is put new hatch struts on. Look at this, the wind, the curtains are in great shape. Oh, they're disgusting though. Are you ready? Yeah, oh man, I have no idea what's gonna be under here. Ooh, it's tight. Pop it open. Let's see. That's a complete Penis. engine. That looks great. It's got this intact. This is this is pretty bad. Yeah, that's intact. This will run. This will run. We'll get this running. Uh, try to turn it. Just just try. Just just a little bit. Oh no, this won't run. I saw that move. Oh. We'll get we'll get, we'll get her loose. We're gonna get oil in it tonight. Yep. Sure. Let's get oil in it. Start pulling things. How was, was the? Uh, Oh, this is like the most satisfying thing ever. Look at the seats. They climbed up, they cleaned up pretty good. I've got I've got simple green and a brush. We can like yeah, got really nice. We can get that real prop. Set rep. Uh we've seen the vehicle. We got the hatch open by jiggling a lot of Vanagon keys, and we've now seen the engine. The engine is complete. We don't have it turning over yet, but I have faith. Um, ben is, is cleaning and he's the happiest person in the world. Um, the bus There's is completely spot. filled Come with both um, mouse turds and seemingly white powder. Some kind of white powder. There's an enormous amount of white powder in the Not car. Not cooking. It's like a, it's like a de -lousing It's thing. like roach, I don't know. It's like my, some kind of poison. It's Jason, definitely poison. We'll a that's lot really of yeah, poison. Yeah, There's pounds of poison distributed throughout this car. And uh, yeah, let's get it running. Let's make it dry. Let's get hands of virus. Making it a lot worse. Than that. that is rough, but making it a lot worse. Than what do you make of this engine, Craig? It's complete, but it doesn't look too mouse chewed. But we've got a lot of work to do. Pull Can some spark turn? plugs, get some oil in there, try to get this engine turning over tonight. ground strap is made of mostly air. It's it's a wireless ground strap. This is a totally wireless. That's a mouse house. That's a definite mouse house. Yeah. Craig, this has the uh Oh yeah. The stuff. Oh, on both sides. It's under the seat. Yeah. Oh, a mother load. Oh. Coolant, windshield washer fluid. Any liquor? Tire, that'll be good. No liquor. Oil filter. Big funnel. Oil. Some water. Oil. 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 This would be brake fluid. Brake fluid. <laughs> Gloves. More stop leak. Additive, that's good. This looks to be like some 
jacks or the uh, emergency flash. What? First spark plug came came out, didn't fight. The spark plugs are coming off with no trouble. Um, this one might be trouble. Randy, when you get a bus, oh, you here's one. Trying to learn from you. Found one. What are you working on, Kurt? I'm just putting this back in. It was basically falling off a little vent cap. That's a mouse. This is the one, see it has hands, but it doesn't have no a face. face. If the head came off. We got, that was the face to this mouse. Woo. We found the mouse that goes to the face. Part of a well-balanced diet. Let's, here, let's reintroduce them. We'll reassemble it. We can rebuild it. We can rebuild it. Another mouse? Good. The mousiest of houses. Oh. That's a home. That's a condominium. They don't even rent. Oh. That's an ownership. Wow. Oh, it's it's hard. Dan? Oh. Say action. Action. We'll have this thing restored by sundown. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely feels so much less gross already. Oh my god. Look at Dude, this stuff uh, is cool great. There, yeah. Look at this. We can buy more. It's brand new. It's brand new! Wow, look at that. Just mouse turds everywhere. I mean, I didn't get all of them on the first pass with yeah. the vacuum. Well, it looks like the engine doesn't seem to turn. Well, that's disappointing. I got three of four spark plugs out, and the fourth one seems to be kind of stripped. The head of it is. So I'm going to get creative on that, but in the meantime, I'm going to put some of these WDs in the other ones. I'm going to put... How, Dan, how many WDs are we putting in today? 39. 39 WDs. We got the flexible straw. Let's do it. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33. We got a spark plug that the head is just mostly dissolved from. I, I don't know how to get any purchase on it. Can you drill a hole through it and put something in there? Turn it? We can do a lot of creative things. We're going to start by putting some knocker loose juice on there. Just giving us every advantage we have. But so this wiring harness <laughs> may have been eaten by mice because it just ends, it just terminates there. This is for the rear wiper and uh yeah, it's think of that, Kurt. This is beautiful. This is some non-factory trim. I wish I had this on my car, so then I wouldn't have to worry about Andy opening the door. Do the right thing and repair it. Okay. I need some glue. No, just pull it off. <laughs> Send it. Oh man, no, that's attached. Yeah, they riveted it. Oh, that's scary. They put holes in the car. I wonder where all that rust came from. Ah, I don't love that. I don't love that. Well, now it's not useful at all. Well, you can have it now. No, I don't want it. Oh no, don't. Yes, do it. Ah! It's just popping the heads of the rivets off. Huh? It's so scary. They put holes in the car. <laughs> We can do this gently. But I the would, whole panel's moving. I would put, uh, maybe put some caulk. Hasn't been inspected since 2001, 22 years ago. Look at this. It's got some big old sneaky boys on there. A lot of lights. They love their lights. Oh, no, dude. Oh. Yeah! We got it, it's moving. It's all that matters. We can get this engine running. Good job, Dan. Oh, no! Oh, it's total. We need an engine. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, let's get it loose and we'll get it out and we'll just keep going.
I told you we should have left it on there. But now, uh, can we get oil in there? Oh man. What happened? It's totaled. We need new heads. At least one new head. That smart club looks really strange. Yeah. Something like that. We need a takeout motor. Ooh, that sucks. I got one at the house. No, we need a synchro takeout motor. We need a motor that was running good when someone did a Subaru conversion. We can get one for like a thousand bucks. When we come back, we'll put an engine in. Let's take this out and fix it. Put it right back in. I think we should take the engine out. Yeah, we should take the engine out while we're here. And we'll put it in the... All right, that, just, that pretty much completes the weekend, right? Yeah. We're gonna I'll have to take the engine out. The engine doesn't even turn, so say what you just said. The engine has to come out. I mean, we could try to get it running on three cylinders, but that would, why? You know, why? The engine has to come out. Yeah. That's broken spark plug. It's impossible to extract. The heads are going to have to come off and be replaced. And then the whole exhaust is coming off, and the exhaust is horrible. You can do that in the car. You can do yeah, but it's, in, it's in very bad shape. So, touching base on where we're at, uh, I think we need an engine. Um, this is the first rescue in a while where it's sort of hit a pretty solid brick wall. Um, we broke a spark plug. That means that that head is pretty much crap. Um, also, the engine doesn't turn. So even if we got that spark plug out, there's reason to believe it's no good. If we chase the spark plug and we replace the head, we're probably at $1,000 in parts and a whole lot of labor, whole new exhaust, all that. The reality of it is we can probably get a whole takeout motor, meaning a good running motor that someone upgraded from for about a thousand bucks shipped maybe let's see what we can do but basically we're gonna have to put a different engine in this car to drive it home since this is only chapter one of whoever knows how many chapters i think the next thing to do is pull this engine out uh, one of the things i mentioned is that because we got kind of a brick wall on the engine our time needs to be spent on brakes fuel tank well, we have all the parts to do the brakes. We have to be a fuel tank expert, by the way. Not on a synchro. It's a 40 hour job. Let's get the engine out. Can't be that much harder. We could get the engine out and the brakes done. That's such a weird backwards way of doing things. I, but I say we get the get the stove fixed, get the water pump fixed. You can wash your hands. It's like a house. <laughs> we fix the house first. Exactly. And then we fix the house like mobility. And you can thing. make some sausages while you're driving. Hell yeah. I'm <laughs> thinking a diner. I'm Holy I'm gear. thinking uh let's keep cleaning it up and let's start looking at brakes tomorrow. It's a baby. Uh, no, I'm gonna wait. Your choice. Oh. Oh, Celebration? Is this Christmas? Your choice. Decided to go for a tour of the facility in lieu of our current mechanical disposition. Things are bad. Things are very bad. It's a go-kart track. It doesn't say don't enter. This is a 2015. Is the linkage hooked up? No, no, no throttle linkage. No throttle linkage. Yeah, it works. No, this you see that. We couldn't get the van working, but we got the go-kart working. It just doesn't go. Here's the push. Oh, here we go. You're going the wrong way on Pit Road. What the fuck? All right. How was it? It's great. We're not dead. We're not dead. <laughs> That's a three million dollar fund. What do you think about that? We can fix it. I don't so know. I think it needs an engine. We're gonna fix everything else. Yeah, we're gonna try to do the brakes now. Um, we also fixed a go kart, so that seems like the right thing to do. We brought in Patrick Reynolds, our wiring expert. Uh, Unfortunately, he's colorblind. Yeah. <laughs> So That's a lot. That's a lot of unused wires. It's to, to the glove box, but this is just this broke. Oh, it's just broken. So it's just broken. It's just broken. Yeah, we got problems. We probably need a motor. So the right thing to do is to quit for the night and go get drunk and get ourselves a milk steak. When in Rome.
milk steak. Literally all the times that I've, I've shot things for like well.com for like... It's always the right decision. This is liquor in a soup container. We call this a small one. I love it here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. I'll jump out of here as soon as my nads start catching. <laughs> Go as fast as you can. Look, you can jump the shark. Zero is not enough speed to get to that. Done. That's what's left of the spark plug. That's pretty bad. We might be able to drill it and put an extractor in it. But I don't have a lot of faith. Well, it's an early start and I've gotten to look at the spark plug and it's definitely broken off. Also, the engine is pretty locked. It looks like the water pump's locked solid as well as the actual block. So there's just no point. We're not going to get this engine running. We got to come up with a new plan. It's going to get a new engine. This car is going to drive home from here. I just don't know what engine that's going to be or when that's going to happen. In the meantime, there's still a lot of work to do. One of the members of our crew, Ben, is very into detailing cars. So he's actually having a good time demalsifying this. We're going to try to clean it up as best we can, make it kind of homey because, you know, these are supposed to be campers. Uh, whenever we do Chapter 2 and we come back for it, I'm going to be camping in this car. So we're trying to make it less... Um, right now it tastes like tuberculosis mixed with hantavirus and we'd like it to taste more like pine salt. So that's what we're after. Gonna keep at it. Lots of work ahead. Let's check the battery. Mm. That's gross. A lot of mouse house. Uh, let's see what the pedals do. Hey, that might be doing something. No way. Got brake? I, we might have brakes. <laughs> I wonder if there's fluid in there. There's brake fluid in there. We're still gonna put stuff on it, but holy crap, this might actually have brakes. This might not need any of the hard lines. Oh, that could be good. You're gonna do fine here, Andy. It's got good oil in it, so it it wasn't parked dry or anything, but still, I think this motor's scrapped. So this is the fuel filler line, and it's just made of, I bet I can put my finger right through that. Yeah, ooh, that rotted. <laughs> All the way in, look at that, ugh. That is disgusting, so that's ruined. Under here, things are pretty good. I mean, I'm sure it shifted like crap because this shifter bushing's in horrible shape. We can take pieces of it out like that. Um, it is a non-locking differential. There'd be a, a locker right there, and there isn't. That starter looks archaic, but it also looks original. See all this silicon? That's an indicator that this starter's never been out. This engine looks so good and so clean underneath. It's got no leaks no issues it's just seized and ruined but look at these brake backing plates they look in great shape these brake lines look to be in good shape i mean there's a lot of good going on under here the prop shafts in place which means the drive line probably worked well all of the factory skid plates are here which is atypical things look pretty good under here she's tidy she's actually tidy see right here the uh, fuel tank strap has become wireless it it introduced a gap it stretched itself um, so that's not supporting things it seems to have done the same on the other side so it's gonna need gas tank straps it probably needs the tank out but boy do I want to not do that uh, yeah Oh my God, it works. The clutch works. That's insane. That's good. I hate this. That's insane. I mean, it really feels good. The pedal feels good. That's insane. You went to a deli and asked them to make you a bologna sandwich. Yep. 
He had one on a bagel yesterday. It's just bologna Yesterday's bologna sandwich was the best bologna sandwich I've ever had in my life. The New York everything bagel. It's the best bologna sandwich. So I thought, I'll get another bologna sandwich. Compare. Good. It's good. So what you have to do to remove this properly is just do a lot of pulling on it. And then it's off. That's how you get it off. Throw it over there in the pile. All right, what else? We got, we're got. we gonna do brakes. We're gonna do brakes. Brakes real quick. Brakes. We're gonna do clutch, clutch yep. master and slave cylinders. Yep. Uh, gonna get an engine. We're gonna put front rotors on. We're gonna get, we're gonna get the brakes done. I think we should wax it. We might get to pressure wash it later, but let's, let's try to get. Where'd you find more poop? Oh, there's more poop everywhere. Yeah. Um, Is there are mice still in here? No. But I think we should try to work <laughs> fairly efficiently before it gets hot. Wow, well, but it's tough to close. So have this experience. So I've never done this before. Uh, Kurt, what are you doing? Tell me, tell me what you're working on. So <laughs> this is the brake master cylinder, uh, which controls the fluid that goes into the brakes and causes them to break. It also turns out that it controls the clutch. So we're replacing this old rusty one with a new one. And uh, so basically I just have to disconnect everything, drain as much fluid as I can get out of there because it can be kind of caustic. Uh, and then take it out, put a new one in, and we should be good to go. Craig, what are we working on here today? I'm replacing the uh, brake slave cylinder. These always go bad. We think these hard lines are good. We're gonna replace these soft lines. So we're gonna redo all the hydraulics. The brakes look good. Now, is there going to be any kind of issue with the corrosion on here? Because some of those connections are really bad. No, they, they look pretty good. This is this is a, pretty standard, so it should it should come apart. Well, if anybody can do it, you can. Yeah, could be. We're working on. Just doing a lot of cleaning, demousifying. What's this thing? This is the rear uh, door panel. It's about yeah. to go back in. What do you think? Yeah. You think we can get this running here soon enough? Not today. Not today. It'll be clean though. <laughs> when we get an engine though. <laughs> I mean, the rest of it seems all right. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah, there's a very powerful tool. It'll, it'll come. Just send it. When you've got, when you've only got one chance left to get a half stripped lug nut off, you heat it. Got some launch options, some sandwich stuff. Sandwiches are a very important tool because when you get exhausted, when you get hungry, you can go to the sandwich. Nice. You that part about me talking about my ball? Yeah, that's for the uh, OnlyFans. I'm just getting more of this. Just loose bits out. There's some uh, insulation in there too. Yeah, I'm making it lighter. I'm, I'm lightening the car. These are perforations for aerodynamics. So that'll actually improve your zero to 60 time. Yeah. yeah. And it, it helps cool the brakes too. That's what it is, it's brake ducting. Quack. Um, CVs are off on the insides. We're getting them off on the outside. Rear brakes are done. Ready to move to the front. You are getting really good at pulling axles, Kurt. Yeah. I'm proud of you. It's, it's like, that's what I was proud of. The wheels are off. And look at this backing plate. It's in phenomenal condition. It's got all these aeration holes to keep your brakes nice and cool. And then it's aerodynamic and extra lightweight so that it diverts the air in a really unique way. 
Um, other than the ruined backing plates, everything under here looks pretty phenomenal. I mean, really quite good. So we're gonna take these calipers off, we're gonna take these rotors off, put a fresh rotor on, put a fresh caliper on, put a fresh soft line on probably, and uh, then we should be pretty good. We'll get them all bled up and then we'll have brakes pedalage. These rotors aren't even bad. Yeah, they definitely rotated because see, it's not, yeah. it's like okay. clean. So we're taking the prop shaft out because we're gonna take the transmission out and the engine out. And when we do drive this home, the responsible thing to do is to drive it home as a two wheel drive. It opens up so, it eliminates a lot of potential problems. So what did you say about the curtains? There's no curtains. I was just going to shut them on this side. They were all taken down probably to keep them in one condition or from getting into another condition. Well, I hope we can find them somewhere. Well, it'd be throwing a lot of shade otherwise. Yeah. I'll make some. What do you got here, Kurt? Brake pads. Very thin. Very thin, but you got them off. Caliper got them looks out. pretty good, actually. That caliper looks totally rebuildable. It just needs a new dust seal. Yeah, it needs the boot. That boot thing. Oh, no, this is ruined. It is. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't, no, that's optional. You don't need yeah, that. Yeah, you didn't need that. That, that pad's ruined. Holy crap. It's old. Oh, that one's in good shape. Should we take this fridge out, huh? At some point, not yeah, yet, not today. Oh yeah, no way, because then you're gonna find again. Out. What what kind of screwdriver is that? Plus, that's a plus. Yeah. Oh, you only had a minus. Yeah. Well, you can't do arithmetic that way. No. Is it gross? Found a house. The reveal. Mmm. Smells like teen spirit. And you wanted to get that water tank running today. Oh, it's. <laughs> Say that again, Dan. Water in here. Okay, I'll open the drain. Let's let some of it out. How much is in there? Half a Am I gonna regret this a lot? Probably. Oh yeah, moisture. Here we go. This is gonna. This is. This is some 2001 water. I, that was a bad move. No, then the floor ground's all wet. So we had the uh, the 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 Allen bolt here stripped out. So we had to grind it off the Dynafile, and now we're gonna make one last attempt at getting it out of the hub. So we're heating the crap out of it. Five o'clock, let's do a status update. Um, where are you guys out with the transmission and engine? We got the two little front bolts out. We got everything loose on the engine. We're ready to take the mustache bar bolts out and then the engine and transmission should come out. Is the tin, is the tin off the sides in the back by the muffler party thing? It kind of peels off as you take it down. We don't have more of those, so we'll get those off. Uh, but trans-wise, we're pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good? Yeah. Uh, like you're working you on the right front brakes right now on the so. right side. Where yeah. are we at on the front brakes? Uh, we got we got to put new calipers on. And so I'm going to get those fitted with the pads. and them, New calipers, new rotors, new, calipers, new pads. Yep. We've got the rear brakes done. Um, the, uh, we got You did a clutch master and brake master. Yep. So in theory, we'll have a whole brake system in and bled tonight. Um, Andy, you've been cleaning the interior. How's things looking? Much better. Does things it taste good. like hantavirus or? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot cleaner now. The taste yeah. is gone. Yeah. <clears throat> That's good. That's taste important. We keep finding new homes where the creatures have lived, but we drain their, their indoor pool. Yeah. Oh, we got, mm. yeah. That, we still got to drain that. Innocence again, water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Um, let's keep at it. We're right on the edge of being done with all these tasks. We're just going to drop the engine and go home. Yep. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Oh, yeah. Ten. Twerks on these. <laughs> Fair number of twerks. How many twerks? 17. 
That's the right number, yeah, that's a good number. Oh, isn't that thin wrench nice? Yeah. Gets right in there. This is mine. Oh, okay. I like that. Nice. Huh? I think the... Uh, <laughs> I think the threads are a little screwed up on this. Okay. So we need so. to... Oh, yeah. No, it looks like that nut's bad. Status right. update. We are ready to drop this engine and transmission at least a little bit, and then there's some things, but, uh, and we've got the front brakes almost done. And we're running out of steam. Stop, stop, stop. Good Titanic noises, we like that. We're pro that. Somebody else on this side? Let me get a video of it sinking. It, uh... Titanic noises? Yeah, we like those. That was the ground, we had to disconnect Tires that. Off, watches off. From right there. Uh, got a hose here. Got the starter line off, the starter wire off, and is it under there? Is there anything? The and you keep doing this, and then you fall in your ass and hurt yourself. Good. Let it down. Nice. All right, now slide it off. This is where you rip the motor mounts out. Yeah. No, no, no. We could just one, two, three, huff it right out. We have an exhaust attached to this one. Yeah, we'll get it. It's okay, out. Ready? One, two, three. Everybody, we need four people. Come on. Ready? One, two. Oh, good. Nice. Satisfying, guys? Very satisfying. Good job, guys. High fives around. Well done. Nicely done. Is it liquor o'clock? It's liquor o'clock. <laughs> I've got some Union Forge vodka. It has been a true workhorse. I have to really thank my buddy for letting us borrow this. This runs off Milwaukee M18 batteries, which I already have plenty of, and it ran flawlessly. We ran this thing so hard and it sucked up a lot of crap. Very, very good tool. Today was a really hard day of work and everyone worked so hard. We had five guys putting in a total of 55 hours of labor today. It's crazy to think that if you have the right team, you can get that much work done in a single day. If we were billing for that at a mechanics rate, that would be over $6,000 of labor performed today. We replaced the entire brake system. We have the engine and transmission out, assessed. Um, the whole car has been detailed. It doesn't smell or taste like mice anymore. We've pretty much found a list of everything that's broken. This was a great day. These guys worked really hard and I'm really proud of you guys. I like to drink the cream separately from the coffee. So you just go to fancy sit down restaurants and get cream? Do yeah, I don't put the no. I don't put the cream in the coffee. I drink it separately. Do you ever drink just cream? Yeah. Got some shiny tape here. Going to put shiny tape over all the water ingress spots and ways mice get in. Shiny tape is great. This doesn't leave too much adhesive residue and it holds up to the UV for a couple years. So say that again. These look new. You're saying the fuel lines look to be new. Yeah, why aren't they? It's, it's read, read, read the, that. what's that say? 86? 42, 42nd week of 1986. Yeah. <laughs> They're not new, <laughs> They're from 1986. It's new old stock. Yeah. Yes, we're using every piece of the Buffalo. Stripping the engine down, making it into serviceable chunks. I'm applying shiny tape and rebuilding the entire car out of aluminized HVAC tape. To prevent mice from getting in, Ben's back here uh, putting shiny tape where it needs to be. How are these headlight adjusters? Okay, that's broken. We're gonna need some headlight adjusters. I brought them. Just put rounds on it. I want to, but. Who lives here? Oh, this is your home. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna kill you with brake cleaner. You're gonna die today. This? Hey Andy, yeah. I'd like to teach you to become a certified auto body technician. All right, let's do it. This is how it's done. This is the Ohio way of auto body repair. This is the culture of my people. So we're gonna take this shiny HVAC tape and we're gonna take this structural piece of missing material and we're gonna do a full metal repair. This is a full metal repair because this is metal tape. This is proper body work. So just fill that in with tape and then it's structurally fine. Yes, get it, get it in there we do a full repair. This is restoration work. Oh, also we, uh, we broke the gas pedal off so we need some rivets for that. Uh, 
that's a proper restoration job right there. This is a hundred thousand dollars of bodywork in Ohio. Coolest would have been coming out of, and you can see this particular engine didn't have any coolant. It just had whatever cool, that. Turn the plate. Whatever in. that is. It's disgusting. There's a lot of it. Separation. Church and state. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Did we get video of that? Oh, we sure did. <laughs> There's a synchro transmission. How did spiders get in there? Oh, they get it. They work. Do we have more of these? Broke okay. it. Yeah. Nice. It's cracked right here now. I'm proud of you. It's just a small crack. We well, just don't have that. That's fine. We don't need that. Yeah, that's fine. Good, we're gonna bleed some brakes. This checks out. Oh. You're telling me now you've got the engine cranking just fine. I think if we could get that. <laughs> oh, it's got a... So why don't we get that spark plug out and just put it all back together? She's got a bad spot in it. We'll definitely put the valve covers back on. Yeah, I mean, we should definitely put it back together before we put it in the dumpster. What did you find there? Is that a brick of cocaine? Oh, no. Crime page 490. <gasps> it's a siren. Siren, both alert. That's great. It's not a brick of cocaine. The intake we're going to take with us. Intake, plenums, this is, this is going home. Anything small that we can get powder coated is going home. So this, this pipe, if it's in good shape, um, these things can stay. Status update, we've bred the, bled the brakes at all four wheels, we're holding pressure, we've got a new master, we've got a new clutch master, things are good. We're ready to drive this from a brakes perspective. Um, the engine and transmission are out, they're apart, the engine's been stripped down, uh, we're keeping all the synchro specific parts, and we're throwing out the engine. So, that's good, we're just cleaning up, putting new windshield wipers on, packing up, inventorying, and we're ready to go. For the transmission there. This, yeah, this is why you got to be careful with brake fluid. This peeled all this paint off, which is fine, but this is why you got to be careful with brake fluid. We're going to need the rivets to re rivet the accelerator pedal down. It is broken. We should probably get an accelerator cable because they break. And the shiftery boys, some of the stuff back there at least, this, the one bushing looks very bad. It's probably smart to replace all that, but we got good brake pedal. New clutch master, that has not been bled yet. And uh, we'll put a new clutch slave on. Life is pretty good. Trying to find the key code so we can get a key cut. We're putting in a bunch of these rodent repellent balls and they smell terrible, but they keep the mice out. Okay, well, let's summarize it. How do we do? Does the car run and drive? No. No, not no yet. okay, so we're not there yet. There's gonna have to be a chapter two. What did we get done? Andy, what did we get done? Well, we did the brakes, got them bled, good pressure on them. Yeah. All brand new stuff. We had to fight with the bolts a little bit, but they're off and new ones on. Brakes, good. front and rear are completely done. Engine mm -hmm. out, disassembled. Engine is out and disassembled and disposed of. We threw it out, it's ruined. Um, mm -hmm. How's the transmission? Beautiful. Clean. It's probably nice and shiny. Yeah, should be yeah. good. Should be good. Uh, how about the interior? Interior is spotless yeah it's good we evicted all the mice i and, still worry uh, that someone still lives in the intake or the air conditioner like uh, maybe maybe, maybe. there's we, a couple spots we didn't quite get to what's important is that we killed their families and prevented them from coming back <laughs> so that's good um yeah, nice. the engine and trans are out but we don't know anything about the cooling system we don't know anything about the fuel system we don't know anything about the suspension we never even uh, put a battery in it no the electrical is a is going to be an issue yeah but there's like nine miles of extra wire in there. Yeah. The point is we've got about another year or two's worth of restoration work ahead of us. So we'll try to finish it in a couple of days and drive it home. Chapter two. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, all those things. Thanks for coming along and tell us what your favorite part was. This is a lot of work to put these videos together and we really like hearing from you. Cheers, friend.